Hi, I'm Sue with the Better Homes and Gardens Test Kitchen. Now, when it comes to celebrating the holidays, nothing beats a perfectly roasted beef tenderloin. You can prep it ahead, it's quick to cook, carving is a snap, there are no bones to deal with, and let's face it, everyone loves it. So, for the absolute best beef tenderloin for your holiday table, I've got some Test Kitchen secrets I wanna share with you. The first step to your perfect beef tenderloin is to pat the meat dry with a paper towel. This gets that surface moisture off of the meat and allows a rich, deep crust to develop during roasting. Now the next step, it's just a simple seasoning of some minced garlic, salt, and pepper. We really want the flavor of the beef to shine here, which is why we keep the seasoning so simple. Now, line the bottom of the roasting pan with sprigs of fresh herbs. Rosemary, oregano, and thyme are some of our favorites. Finally, put the rack over the herbs, then place the roast onto the rack. The rack is important here because it allows the air to circulate underneath and around the roast for more even cooking. Now for the roasting. This is one of those secrets I was telling you about. You're gonna set the oven at 250 degrees, a little lower than you'd normally do it because it helps set moisture and promote even, consistent cooking. For the second part of roasting, turn the oven up to 425 degrees and continue roasting for another 30 to 40 minutes. This increase in temperature is going to help give the meat a really dark, flavorful crust. Checking the temperature of the roast is the only way you're gonna know when it's done. So, after about 20 minutes at 425 degrees, use an instant read or dial thermometer to check the internal temperature of the meat. You're looking for about 125 to 135 for medium rare. Finally, I have one last test kitchen secret for you. Always let meat rest before you carve it. So take the roast out of the oven, leave it on the rack, loosely tent it with foil, and let it rest for 10 minutes, flipping it over halfway through to let the juices redistribute. Now don't worry, the meat is not gonna get cold in the 10 minutes of resting. This actually gives you a little bit of time to get the side dishes on the table before carving. Now you know the secrets to a perfectly roasted beef tenderloin from the Better Homes and Gardens Test Kitchen.